What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be talking about template reference variables in Angular. And it's really difficult to figure out like what this is. Like I remember I first started working and I would see this all the time. This is terrible. I didn't know what template reference variables were when I first started developing in Angular. That's a testament to how desperate people are for Angular developers. So, but th besides the point. What's happening is when you use this hash symbol, you use this phone, you, all that's happening is, is Angular comes up, it lifts the DOM object, it lifts the DOM element out of the DOM, and it gives it to you in a nice little variable so that you can have it to you know do what you want to with it. So you can access this phone, this, this actual HTML element as if you were doing so in the actual browser and there's other ways to do this and we will talk about those later on in the course but this is going to be the most simple and it's very important because it allows other elements to share information with each other that's the re sharing in template reference variable world sharing is caring You're, the reason we have template reference variables is so that you can share them with other HTML elements on the web page. And if you look in this example, that is exactly what we've done. Sharing is caring, and we've passed this phone element with its value just as if it were a JavaScript DOM element right into this. And we're doing this in an Angular environment, which is very powerful. So we get all the benefits of the low levelness of regular J JavaScript objects, and we also get all of the power of angular as well too so let's just go ahead i'm going to show you guys what template reference variable is and give you a nice little example so let's just go in here i'm going to go pokemon and we're going to have pokemon name we're going to assign this to a string and we're going to assign an empty string to it and over here what we're going to do let's actually we can get rid of this router up here so we're going to go input we got type is equal to text and then we're gonna go, we're gonna call this username. Let me see, so we'll call this, uh, let's call this Pokemon name. So Pokemon name, and then let's go ahead and close it out. And once again, this is the template reference variable, and we will log, another thing is too, I'm about to log what the template reference variable looks like so that you can kind of see it. Like a lot of times in programming, uh, you just need to see stuff. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna handle, uh, yeah, it's a click event, so we're gonna handle the click, and then we're going to pass in this Pokemon name, and we're going to give it a value. Should be a value, let me see, value. So handle, click, the value, and then we need to go down here, we're gonna get, and we need to create a function because the compiler is yelling at us, and we, what we will pass in, we're just gonna pass in a value and we'll call this any so we don't have to worry about any type checking and we can just kind of worry about what this object looks like. So we're gonna go up here. Oh, I need to add the closing tag to this. And we are ready to go. So go up here and this button looks like doo-doo, but so what is happening is it's passing in the value, but what we want in order to see like what it actually looks like, click um, template, and you don't have to type this out. I hope that you do, but this could be just for theory's sake and just to kind of teach you. So when we click that, what's happening is, is it's being, it's going through the event Remember, if you haven't watched the event video, make sure that you watch the event video. And this is going down into here and it's console logging it into the browser. And when we actually do that, that is what we get. We get an HTML DOM element that we can manipulate, we can do all types of things to, and provides, like I said, the power and the you know low levelness of Java, as low level as you can get of JavaScript. And it also provides all the abstraction with Angular, and that's going to be the video on template reference variables. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.